Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Rickman, and welcome back to another video. Now, as you may notice from the footage before you, this video is a little different from my previous postings, in that it is me talking over pre-recorded footage of me building a proper house, rather than me doing the sort of live commentary that I tend to have do in previous videos. I'll talk about that towards the end of this video, so in the meantime, just sit back and enjoy the commentary. Now, today's commentary is about motivation. Life is a constant battle between the things we want to do and the things we have to do. And there are many times when it can be difficult to be motivated to get things done. Especially if you're a teenager right now, you have to juggle, juggle schoolwork with a social life. Maybe you have something artistic you want to do or like a fun, fun hobby you like to do. Or, honestly, maybe you're already working a job or applying for colleges. It's a lot, and it is okay to feel overwhelmed when you have that much going on all at once. Even as an adult, there are a lot of things I have to manage. As a wannabe author, as an educator, and as an occasional video maker, I'm always fighting with my wants and desires, the things that I want to be doing, versus the things that I really need to be doing to be a productive adult. For me, I've found that there are a couple of things that can be really helpful so that I do everything I need to do. For example, I've often found that giving myself a reward for completed tasks helps motivate me towards completing them. So for instance, if I know that I have to do the dishes and laundry, but I want to sit and just read a book, I might tell myself, hey, do the dishes and laundry, and then you can sit and read. Or maybe I really just want to watch something, but I have three classes of essays I need to grade. I'll tell myself, okay, grade two classes first, and then I can grade that last one while I'm watching my show. By knowing that there's something good at the end of it, I feel motivated to actually complete that task, and I don't just put it off forever. The other thing I do is I like to break things into chunks, particularly with larger tasks. Uh, for example, my wife and I are currently moving house, and so especially when it comes to loading and unloading all of our stuff and getting it to a new location, breaks are necessary. I might load up four boxes and then chill and play with our cats for ten minutes, and then go and load up some more boxes later. Or, especially when I'm writing, I might set aside an hour and write for that single hour, and then give myself another hour to just chill and play some games, before jumping right back into writing again. That way I'm still completing the tasks I need to do, but they're a little bit more manageable. I'm not getting overwhelmed with, oh, I have to do all of this all at once. The last thing I like to do that helps me is just toughing it out and getting started. Sometimes you just need that initial push because a lot of the time the tasks that seem so awful and daunting honestly end up feeling pretty inconsequential once you actually get going. To use my example from earlier, packing up the boxes for a big move isn't such a big deal once you actually get started. And in all honesty, it can kind of be fun getting all your stuff together and organized. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> once you get over that hurdle of, oh no, this task is terrible, a lot of times you can be extra motivated towards actually getting the things done and completed. It just requires that initial push to get you started. And really, no matter what it is that works for you, the important thing, in my opinion, is that you pace yourself. If you push yourself too far, you could end up with burnout, which is when you end up overexerting yourself and becoming really tired, um, either like physically, mentally, or emotionally tired. Uh, burnout is super sucky and can be an absolute motivation killer. And so you want to make sure you relax and give yourself a break. You are not some machine that is meant to be constantly going all of the time, and so you need to treat yourself every now and again and take care of yourself. At the end of the day, self-care is going to be more important than anything else, because if you don't take care of yourself, you're going to end up, you know, getting burnt out and, you know, potentially hurting yourself. Anyways, I hope I'm not coming across as too preachy with this one. With these sorts of commentary videos, I really just try to share what I've learned in what I hope is an entertaining way, um, you know, using Minecraft in the background to sort of be engaging, and not to force morals down anyone's throats or anything. 
Now, as you may have noticed, this video was much more scripted commentary than the sort of off-the-cuff live commentary I've been doing. I wanted to try something new, something that would hopefully help my ideas to be a little more coherent and thoughtful as I give these sorts of commentaries, and I'm really excited to try out some different new things with this channel and just have fun with it, really. So if you've ended up making it this far, please go ahead and leave a comment letting me know whether you like this kind of format or if you prefer the more shenanigans-based live commentary videos. I want to try a bunch of different things, but I certainly want to take in feedback and kind of see what people want. In any case, I appreciate your time and hope you have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there, and as always, don't get arrested. Bye!